So there it is. Two, one, two weeks in a row. Unfortunately, that means one person on your team is going to be eliminated. You, oh. you have to decide this. You know this. I'll be back for that elimination very shortly. I'm sorry. Oh, I feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> we all do, I think. Can, can I just say well done and commiserate? It really was. It was a brilliant experience. <laughs> and we're all thoroughly enjoyed it. Well done, everybody. Well done. Thank you very much, Kirsty. Oh, wow. Oh, that was horrible. OK, time for some music now here with an exclusive performance of their brand new single, Can't Speak French, It's Girls Around! <laughs> is tough because you're totally walking around all this stuff you want to say to me words are never enough for oh, baby baby you turn my dust to gold i can't speak french so i let the funky music do the talking talking now oh i can't speak french so i let the funky music do the talking decision to make. In a moment, Deck, I'll ask you who you want to eliminate, but first I'd like you to tell me which two members of your team you definitely like to save. Um, I, I, I'm going to save these two because I can't fault their effort in Austria. It's Lee and Melinda. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's between Kiko and Paul. Deck, who are you eliminating this week? If I could, I would eliminate myself um, <laughs> from the team because it was obviously my mistake going down that. Probably cost us the, 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 the point, I think, but God, I've, made a, worse than the X I've made, <laughs> <laughs> I've made a decision. I've made a decision. 
and the person who will leave this week is Paul. Yep. Good luck to you. No. I hope you win. Paul, Good luck to you. Paul has now been eliminated. Your that time on Anniversary <laughs> Day is over. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Paul Daniels. to reveal next week's challenge. Oh, Take a look at this. <laughs> You'll need to be in perfect harmony next week as you sing for survival in your very own barbershop quartet. Hit the right notes next Saturday and your team will be standing proud in blazers of glory. But fail this choral examination and one of your barbers will be getting the chop. Quite good. I don't think we should be getting any bruises doing that. <laughs> we shouldn't know. be anyway. <laughs> Actually, can I get Paul back and swap leagues? <laughs> <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, would you please put your hands together for the Royal Marine British Bob Slitty, athletes who trained us. And one more time, Team Man, Team Deck, and Cocky Gallagher! Right, time to go back to Coventry where earlier on Tiddles the Takeaway Cat pounced on Liz Evans in her local supermarket and give her the chance to take a five grand run in the mousetrap. OK, Liz should have had enough time to ditch the shopman, head back to the trap and, most importantly, dress up as a giant mouse. Let's see if she's managed it. There she is! Yeah. Looking good. Well done, Liz. OK, there are ten boxes above the mousetrap and they're all filled with food. But the only sort you're interested in is a mouse's favourite food because what are mice like? Cheese! They certainly do. Each piece of cheese is worth £1,000. The other boxes contain food you definitely want to avoid. You've got one minute to collect as much cheese as you can and leave the trap. But remember, Liz, if you're still inside, when the minute is up, you'll be locked in by tiddles and your cheese will count for nothing. Is that clear, Liz? Do you understand the rules? Yeah. Yeah, good. I okay. understand. She understands. Use that time wisely, Liz. We're all rooting for you. You're officially ready to run the mouse trap, and your time starts now. Start the clock. <laughs> It was a wise decision. <laughs> Let's see how many cheeses you've got, Liz. Hold your cheeses up in the Let's air, Liz. Let's take a look and count the one, two, which means you've got two thousand pounds. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Liz. Give a big hand, everybody. This is for Strava, Liz Evans. <laughs> oh, somebody wants some money. Thank at goodness, last. she got out of there. Good. Now remember, if you want to see someone you know in the mousetrap, or if there's anything else you want to tell us about, go to itv.com. Now, though, it's time to find out who from this studio audience could be one of the contents of the ad breaks from Tuesday night's Lanetta Lady, the final who's it going to be? Let's find out as we say, computer. Stop! James McDowell, where are you, James? He's right in the front row. There he is. 